we've been speaking with the family members of the uh, of Emeka Ike, and um, they've said so many, so many things. But before I go on, I would like to let people know that we tried to get across to the ex-wife's uh, uh, platform. We couldn't get across. Apparently, she changed her phone. And uh, if you, if she's listening or you have access, we are open on waiting day on Max FM because uh, it would be unfair for us not to hear the two sides of the story. Apparently, if we three sides of the story. So we go back to the the the, the interview. Don't forget, still your hit music station Max FM, and I still have Uche online. Madam Uche, are you still there? Good afternoon, madam. Hello, good afternoon, my brother. How are you today, ma? My, I'm, I'm good. I'm very so, good. Would you like to tell the whole I'm world right good. now? I'm sure, I'm sure I'm... Okay. Would you like to tell the whole world who we're speaking with and your relationship to a Mekaike? My name is um, Honorable Mrs. Abimpola Budupe Ike. I'm the resident pastor of Even of Love International Worship Center and I am a sister-in-law to Emeka Ike. I'm married to his immediate junior brother. Mm -hmm. And where are we speaking to you from, madam, if we may? I am in Abuja. All right. So, first things first to everybody out there listening to us, I would like to send our condolence on the passing of Emeka's mom. Our thoughts and prayers are with you. We, we pray to God she's in a better place and by God's grace, she has left a good legacy. And um, the, the burial arrangement, how soon are we looking at, if I may ask? Hello? Is the network... Oh, this network, the Huku. Network, don't, don't do this to us right now. Hello? We only have... Yes, the... Okay, yes. Go ahead. Very soon the family will be hello, can you hear me? Definitely, definitely. Okay. Very soon the family will be coming out with an official statement on the burial arrangements for my um late mother in law. So just stay tuned. We'll be we'll be announcing making some announcements very soon. Believe you me, we'll be we'll be waiting to be part of the event. But we move on, madam. Uh can we start by okay. asking how long you've known Emeka Ike? Let's start from there. Oh, I've known Emeka Ike for over 20 years. Wow. Wow. Can I say wow again? For wow. Over 20 years. And um, in one word, in <laughs> one word, in one word, how would you describe Emeka Ike in one word, if you can? Ooh. Hello? Well, allow me three words. It's okay, a natural three words. Leader. Three words. Is a natural. He's a natural leader. Wow, he's a natural, a natural leader. Leader. Mm. And that is quite mm. comforting. But for me, some people have come out to to say things like Emeka Ike had been a violent, had been violent to them at one point in time. Over twenty years of knowing Emeka Ike, what would you say to that, madam? <laughs> well, I can only say what I know. I've known Emeka Ike for over twenty years, like I said. And um, I've not seen any act of violence. Sincerely, I, I have to say the truth at this point. And when I hear these things, I just laugh. I've not seen any act of violence. When I say him, we joke, we joke, we jest, we laugh. And you know, it's, it's, it's an easygoing person. Hmm. And it's, that's what I know about him. Uh, he's a loving father to his children. He's very protective about his children. Those are the things I know about him. So, mm. for the violence, sincerely speaking, uh, before God and man, I have not personally witnessed violence. And you said something now, America. Madam. You said, you said something now, Madam, that he's a loving father, he loves his children. So, how did he get mm. to this point with his first son? With his son, let me just say son. Mm. Well, it's a long journey. First yeah. of all, I would like to say this. Michael is our son. Yeah. We all feel we all feel a sense of ownership over Michael and every of those kids in the home. Definitely. Um we all watched them grow. Mm -hmm. Mike is close to my own kids. All right. Michael is a Michael is a victim hmm. of what I call manipulation. Michael speaking. 
because the Michael that I, ahead, I we, were, we were looking at some kids walking on the side of the road, yes. Mm -hmm. And he was telling him something. He said, Michael, can you see these kids? They have no parents to take them to school. Wow. So don't take the 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 good life you have for, for, for granted. You should understand you have to be a man. Life is not a bed of roses. And I saw a man that was trying to prepare his kids for life. Mm. But even despite all the stardom and everything, Ebeka Ike will still wake up in the morning and do school runs. Will still make sure that his kids are every... As in, he was just... So for Michael, that's why I am very convinced that Michael is a victim of intense manipulation. When a child is torn between two parents and, a, and one parent is um is working on his emotions mm. then you would know that you would know because sincerely speaking, let me just tell you the truth the day my my first daughter who happens to talk to him a lot heard the interview that and the things he said when the car together were listening she broke down in tears and she started crying and she said mommy i can't recognize michael anymore this is not michael mm. wow this is not michael and she was weeping and i just told her calm down calm down just don't worry everything will be fine she said mommy this is not michael something is wrong and so i i know yes maybe when when a child is in, in between two parents that have separated what we owe them is to give them that space and and protect their mental health which bringing michael out to the open to talk about what is going on between his mother and father is not protecting his mental health as far as i'm concerned mm. so i think that is what led to this point nobody who he was who is with rather did not bother to protect the mental health of her child did not put him first before her own personal issues with the father mm. as a mother you should put your child first you should put your child first. There are some things you protect your child from, mm. no matter how old the child is, because mm. you want to protect that child, that child's mental health. You don't want to traumatize your children. So you keep them as one problem and make them choose sides. And so Emeka has always been a loving father. And at a time, another parent decided to just sit down. And you will not hear him doing all of that when he was with his, no. When he was with Emeka, okay. he was not doing all of that. But, you will not hear Michael come out and say such things about the mother. Hmm. So that's to let you know that something is actually wrong. And uh, and then, uh, with that being said, madam, um, do you have any idea of the effect of this on the other siblings of Michael? Are they are they in tune with their mother and Michael, or are they in tune with their father, or are they just neutral? Talking about the other children, Emeka, Ike, Ike. Sorry, what 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 was it like? What would you say? <laughs> number one i you see I, I i really i really want to say this Go ahead. number one i would i would reiterate my statement i do not want this kid to drag into this mess hmm. and the truth is this and the truth is this saying whether some children are for a gaze we're just making a bad case worse hmm. sincerely speaking i really and i really would not want to answer that question with all due respect because i i, I cannot i'm not even there i'm not with the kids i don't know where they are wow. as we speak wow with their mother we all used to take care of them here in abuja oh yes and the truth of the matter they are right now with their mother and which yes the, the kids should see their mother she, she, she gave back to them well obviously i really would not know because what i'm seeing with michael i wouldn't know what is happening with his siblings but i also know that michael is a very sensible young man he's quite protective i foresee a michael even protecting his siblings from knowing the nitty-gritty of what is going on especially wow. the younger ones because it will really hurt them yes i i see that i see him trying to protect them from knowing all the details except the mom now goes to start talking to them but the marker that I know would not, he's very protective of his siblings. That's the truth. And that's how he's, he's that trained him. I remember one day he was shouting at his junior sister and I said, why are you being so harsh on her? She said, no, 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 no. I am responsible for them, ma. I am responsible for them. I'm the first son. I'm the first child. And whatever, I, I saw that sense of responsibility and I was impressed. He's very protective. Okay. So I think Michael wanted to, I want to protect his siblings from this. No. But I wouldn't know. But so for me to tell you, this person is here or there, I can't say that. All right. Saying. All right. And then moving on, madam, thank you very much for that response. It's actually, you are actually on point. We don't want to bring the kids into this. Let them live their life. Mm. What is happening is between mm. a man and a woman at the end of the That's day true. and uh with yeah. that being said my sister um you are, uh, you are giving me this impression that Emeka is a gentleman he's a loving father he's a he's a leader amongst other things 
Uh, but is it that Emeka is a perfect man? He has no flaws. Would you would you, would you want to say that? Okay, I cannot I cannot say Emeka Ike is perfect as much as I cannot say I am perfect. Nobody is perfect. That's the truth. Nobody is perfect, including myself talking to you right now. Because for the wife to come out and say, Emeka beat me, Emeka did this. My sister, there's no smoke without fire. There's no smoke without fire. Mm. So maybe I'm just I'm just getting your own perspective. Being a family member for over 20 years, uh, maybe, maybe, correct me if I'm mm. wrong, Emeka is a gentleman mm. with a family. Is it possible that he also has another side to himself with his wife, so to speak? Um, you know, I, I would like to say this right now. I'm married to a maker's um, brother. We have four boys in the family, hmm. and they're all married. And I guess we've spoken to some other yeah, other yeah, ones too yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah. And I'm I'm sure every one of them possibly can attest. Of course, nobody wants to um, launder their uh, uh, launder their dirty clothes in public. Mm. But the truth is that my own husband has never lifted up his hands to beat me. Mm. And I can attest to the fact that the lady there with you ha can can say that, and the one Uche too can also say that. You see, the truth is that, and I'm, I'm and I'm like, yeah, you know, my mom used to tell me something. If you want to enter a house. Go and ask questions about wives that have been in the family. Thank you. Or people that are around them. Yeah. So you have an idea of where you are entering yeah. before you go in. Yeah. And that's so you can if you ask all of us now, it's of this is radio. You will see all of us. We're all looking radiant, we're looking beautiful. Wow. We are women that are well taken care of by our husbands. And I can tell you this that for if you're saying that Emeka, you're maybe you're trying to imply that he has another side, a narcissistic side with his wife and all of that. The truth is this. We all were relating in the home. I'm not saying that. I'm not painting Emeka as a perfect man, like I said. Okay. But you see, there are some allegations that can be quite weighty that you look at. Hmm. We were families that his ex-wife would go and spend holidays sometimes with his sister-in-laws and all of that if your husband was hitting you at least at one point or the other you would have confided you in one of your sister-in-laws that your brother beats me up oh, hmm. do you would have seen what you would have come one day with a black eye yeah. you would have come one day with do you understand what i'm saying hmm. we would have seen all of that let me just tell you something you know when this thing started then and after the divorce and she was busy granting interviews up and down. Emeka beat me up. We, we all we all just went quiet because of Emeka's status, and nobody just wanted to come out and start shouting. Wow, why, why, why would you do this? So, now <clears throat> you try to paint a, a man black after you hurt him so much. You now come out and say he's a wife beater. Hmm. He beats me up. He punches me. The truth of the matter is this: I. I cannot, I will tell you something. The side of the ex-wife that we used to see and meet, hmm. she was somebody that, are you this about her? Have you, I, I don't know, you're a Yoruba man. Hmm? And I know that in Nigeria, it is very hard today to get a man that would tell his wife, learn my signature and sign my checks. Hmm. True. That will, that will get a man that will say everything that I have worked for, you be in charge. Let me just be working. You be in charge of everything and, and just have a free time. And build the and home. So when you see that, you see, yes, and build the home. And just, and then you also, you can build your dreams alongside. But let me be doing the work and just have access to everything that is mine. Hmm. In fact, let me just tell you, between yourself and myself, I used to tell my husband, oh, can't you be a little bit like your brother? Uh -uh. <laughs> he put everything down, down, down. You used to, can't you just, you know, I used to tell him that. I would just, oh, can't you just be a little bit like uh, Bremeka now? I all of that wow. and i used to tease him about that that ah. and for me as, as a wife i used to look at her as a very blessed person sometimes i would just have a little bit of envy for her that wow you have everything on the platter of gold and yes maybe husband and wife may have misunderstandings which we all do but the truth of is a wife bitter 
that is you don't understand that is you are giving a personality to somebody it is not just one allegation you're talking about somebody that constantly beats you up sincerely speaking i find that hard to believe her mother was staying with her at a particular time for a long time if that was happening i know mothers they will come out and shout to the husband's family don't kill my daughter you want to kill my daughter she never did that so at what point did a maker become a wife beater sincerely speaking sometimes i just want to pick up the call and ask are there things you are not even telling us because i what i know to the best of my knowledge is that the kids have not come out to i don't i don't think sincerely speaking honestly it's it's just very very pathetic Hmm. I won't. I won't lie to you. I feel very sorry for him. Wow! And because, you said um, something. You said something. Bad... You said something, mm. madam. Sorry. You said the the ex-wife yeah. hurt a maker. How did she hurt a maker? Yes. How? Oh, my brother. We were all devastated as a family. I, as a person, I saw her two days before that time. Mm. Emeka was not in the country. He had traveled. So I saw her at my mother-in-law's place. We all do that. Sometimes we just go and spend three days with my mother-in-law. Just let her have a feel of her grandchildren. Yeah, and, we yeah, and she does yeah. that sometimes. When Emeka go around, she leaves the house and she comes to stay with her. And so I saw her. We all just said everybody parted ways that day. And I think two days after that, I heard the news that she has absconded and packed everything away. And I was like, what? What happened? Mm. And sincerely, it was devastating, not just for him, for the whole family. Wow. There are some things you just try to cover because of the status of her husband. We just try to keep quiet about it. But let me tell you, I can attest to the fact that he actually passed through that. I, as a woman, uh, I will not wish that on my brother. And when we saw that happen, it broke him into pieces. Sincerely speaking, it broke him and she took two of the kids and, and separated the kids. Took two and left two behind. Those kids were were traumatized because they could not see their siblings. They couldn't see kids that have always stayed together. Yeah. And you just have scumbed. And you just left and packed all the cars, closed the school, did everything and you just left. Mm. So, and when this happened, we all were like what is going on what happened and he said we were at peace before i left and my mother said there was no quarrel at least that i know we're all in the house together even my mother was dazed what could have happened and so whatever the story she's saying today honestly my i always i always tell this to women i i i, I speak with women a lot i go for seminars i talk to women and i say this if whatever you do and then you you, you ought to you you ought to think of Yes, you want to think about your tomorrow. Some of our own mothers, the reason why some of us are settled in our home today is because our own mothers paid the sacrifice and stayed, stayed put. Marry. Hello. It is a work at. Okay. You work at you your work age. At. And, and I, 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 hello. My sister, sorry, Jari. I was getting carried away with what you were saying and I just had to come back to, to, to doing the job I've been employed to do. And now, you said something not too long ago that um you 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 were you were you were with her i believe like two days before she moved out and a lot of you are inside i mean that thing that made her leave was it financial was it the beating was it that she got tired of him being a nice man was it that she saw what would you say from your own perspective made that thing that made her leave till today i still can't figure it out honestly till today is still a mystery and even when the divorce proceedings were happening i remember how many times emeka tried to beg her people for the sake of our children why don't you let us at whatever it is let's sort it out she said no way that she is leaving and so for me sincerely speaking uh, i don't know if you're even saying financial excuse me Hmm. it is not rosy 365 days for every man even dangote has his down days definitely, at his level definitely definitely and you are you are, you, you are married to a star and we know the way their things are today they are getting a role they are acting another day they, they might have a, a space of like one week and and at that time a maker was not even like that a maker had contracts with 
um, uh, an amnesty contract. He was acting, he was doing all sorts of things. And there are times that, and then, so when you're now, you're now, even if it's financial, you know that it's just for a short period of time. If, if I'm saying if, it is financial. It's just a short period of time. You know, we're bouncing back again. It's not. It won't be the first. Yeah. It won't be the last. My father was a contractor, yeah. and I remember there are days that ah, hey, everybody's husband were buying cars, were buying clothes, and there are days that uh, uh-uh, everybody cut your coat according to your size. Definitely. And such is life. Mm. And then so you cannot say okay because of it. If, if there was a down moment, and then because of that, I just got tired. I'm leaving. Mm. So sincerely speaking, I I am trying to imagine why a woman will leave four lovely kids separate them and move out of her husband's house and i she said this again i had to ask him to at one time i said what actually happened and you, you know he was just broken he was like i don't know don't know i really i can't figure it out we did not call before i traveled nothing happened before i traveled i was i just i was just called that this has happened and so Sadly speaking, if you ask me, except you call her tomorrow and sit her down in front of everybody and say, what exactly made you go? You say it's because um, Emeka was beating you, because this was happening, and then was he beating you every day? Was he... Was it battering? Because we see you, we don't see signs of battering and beating on you. And, 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 and so for me, I just felt... Uh, sorry, madam. Yes. Sorry. So, with, with all things being equal, uh, you, are, you are giving us the listeners. So, they are giving the listeners your own perspective. But at the end of the day, like, we have been, like we've been saying, a maker gave her this, a maker gave her money, a maker gave her the time, a maker gave her this, and she still left. Can it be a case of this man is not as popular as he used to be? I'm, I'm not getting the attention paparazzi and all that because if you look at it this is every woman's dream you give me money you give me time you take care of the kids you take the kids to school you bring them back and all this and yet this woman left what my brother i I was telling i was telling i was telling a young man something i tell young men you know in those days we used to pray for the our daughters ah may god give you good men Amen. Nowadays, yes. nowadays, I I feel more fearful for the young men. I'm a woman, and I have to hmm. say the truth. I I I have three girls, so I'm not I'm not against my gender. I have three girls and one boy. But do you know? I pray more for my son now. God, please give him a good wife. Hmm. Not a wife that will turn him against his family. Not a wife that will turn him against his parents. God, please bless him with a good wife. I pray for my daughters too. But be- why? Because of this money for hand back for ground mentality that this the, the generation is coming up with. And the truth of the matter is that I don't understand. Did you marry him for money? Did you marry him for fame? But because my sister, when that, when, but my sister when, sorry, to, sorry to cut you short, but my sister, no matter how a person is, they say a person's behavior is like smoke. You've known them for 20 years. You're supposed to see and say, this woman like money. Oh, this woman like fairity. Oh, this woman, he get as he be. You, did, did you ever see any character with this ex-wife? Because it is it was, it was said that there was a time that she actually slapped and harassed him. That was one of Emeka's aides. So, is it that you, you mm. family members, saw this ex-wife as an angel? Honestly, can I just... No, no, that's not true. Because um, there was a lot of manipulation that was going on. You see, there are some things you just don't want to come up because this, this, some things are in the past. You just don't want to just open up all the can of worms and talk about. Mm. The truth of the matter is this. What she's doing with her son, she did it also with her husband. Hmm. At a particular time, you know, even if anybody's pointing out to her that, hmm, be careful, your wife is like this, a maker will stand behind his wife, which every man should, and it's the proper thing to do. Hmm. I will stand behind his wife and he will. Hello? Not my wife. Nobody should say, yes, my wife, my wife is this, my wife is that. Hello. Uh, we're listening. I'm with you, Hello. madam. I'm with you, madam. I'm with you. I'm with you. Yes. 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 And, and I will not say that it is wrong because every woman prays for a man that will stand for her in front of everybody. 
and so he did that and if you say is it because she likes money is there a woman that does not like money I be you. but the truth of the matter is this is that is that your driving force in the marriage so if she says i'm leaving because things were now bad they not they were not what it used to be like i said life is up and down you don't have it rosy 365 days so i will not even say whether things were bad because if things were bad you will not have cars to park and go now but but my sister if would things you, were that bad would, yes. would, would it be right to say a maker excuse my language a maker was too mumu for this woman is it right to say so wow a maker was mumu for love oh I so, won't lie. Emeka, Emeka was Mumu for love. So Emeka actually Emeka caused was this. Mumu for love. I say that with with every bit of respect for him. He's my he's my big brother. He's my elder brother. Emeka was Mumu for love. I am telling you the truth. Emeka was Mumu for love. And so, like I told you, sometimes I will ask my husband, can't you just be a little Mumu for love like this too? So Emeka would, was Mumu for love. So he can we say? So can her. we say Emeka caused all this to happen by being too Mumu for love? no he did not cause it because he did what he should do as a husband mm. now if you it, it takes two to tango if i do what i should do as a, as a husband and you as see it in wife. another way that is because i'm stupid and i should be t and i should be taken for granted and it is not the fault mm. of the person that is doing the right thing so he did what he should do as a husband like i said there's no woman that does not want that kind of man mm but what do i what do you do with it when you are offered that i you know bible my i'm a christian and like i said i'm a pastor bible says don't cast your peers before a, a p mm -hmm. are you doing it for the wrong are you doing it to the wrong person are you sacrificing all of that to the wrong person mm -hmm. so what you should praise god give me somebody that will appreciate somebody that will appreciate what i what what all the love i have to give emeka was emeka was uh, uh my brother i can't tell you wow wow okay wow 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 my sister um with, with all these things you've said we are still going to do our best to get a maker we tried to get him but he said he's not available as of today and i'd like to say a big thank you to all you wonderful in-laws you 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 women are the reason why families are bountiful families grow because you guys are together of the whole world now now very quickly before we let you go madam the family of the ex-wife have they come to mm. you or said anything or even tried to mediate in this matter at all they kept not to the best of my knowledge mm. so i guess that means they're okay with what their daughter is doing i wouldn't know sincerely <laughs> i wouldn't know so ladies and gentlemen we've been speaking with honorable mrs abimbola ike and a sister-in-law to emeka ike giving us an insight into so many things a lot of people were just playing with the reason why she's here is to clear the air so that people don't take opportunity to put salt and pepper and make it worse than it is and i would like to say a big thank you to you